everyone, today we are going to talk about corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Specifically, we're going to use triangle congruence and corresponding parts of congruent triangles to prove that two parts of two triangles are congruent. Let's get started. Just to backtrack, in our previous videos, we learned that we could prove triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So if we knew three pairs of corresponding sides were congruent, that was enough to prove the triangles are congruent. But if we know that all the corresponding sides are congruent, well, what do we know about the angles if we use side, side, side? Well, if the triangles are congruent, it would make sense that all of the corresponding angles would have to be congruent as well. So if we use side, 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 in this example here, well, angle A would have to be congruent to angle D, and angle B would have to be congruent to angle E, and angle C would have to be congruent to angle F. All we needed to prove the triangles were congruent was side, 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 but if we did prove the triangles congruent, then all the other parts that weren't part of the proof are congruent as well. Specifically, if we prove triangles are congruent by side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, well then all of the parts that weren't part of the original proof are also congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And we're going to use the acronym CPCTC to stand for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So from here on out, whenever you see CPCTC, you know that's what that means. So write that down. That will definitely be on your video quiz. Let's look and see how we would use it in a proof. Well, in our previous proofs, in this line right here, we were proving that triangles are congruent. But look at this. We're now just proving parts of the triangle are congruent. So we need to prove these two triangles here are congruent. Then we can use CPCTC. I've marked the diagram with our given information. And take a close look. What do you think we can add to prove that these two triangles are congruent? Well, hopefully it's jumping out at you. We have vertical angles here. So we're going to add that to our proof. Well, first of all, we need to put in our given information and then we're specifically going to put that these vertical angles are congruent and that would be the vertical angle theorem. Well now we have side angle side. So these triangles are congruent by side angle side. Now we're going to add one more line and we're going to put what we're trying to prove and that angle A is congruent to angle D. We would say that these are congruent by CPCTC. Because again, if these triangles are congruent, then all of the other corresponding parts are congruent as well. I'll see you guys in class.